Welcome to the WordPress Photography Podcast, the podcast for photographers who want to learn how to get the most out of WordPress to grow their photography business. You don't need to be a geek to understand WordPress. Settle back and listen as we show you how. Now, here's your host, Scott wyden Kivowitz. Welcome to episode 58. My name is Scott wyden Kivowitz, and I'm joined by my guest, Julie Christie. Julie is a photographer and a teacher. She loves to connect with brave, hardworking photographers who are not afraid to shake things up a bit with their quest to build a flourishing business on their own terms. She does this through her online membership community, Togs in Business. And um, I, how, we were kind of introduced, I think, I think it was somebody recommended my Facebook group and then send me over to you, or maybe it was Chris Scott. I don't even remember, but I'm glad that we were introduced one way or another and are able to connect uh, today to talk about some really fun. One of my favorite topics is just sort of nurturing your leads and your customers. So I'm glad to have you on the show. So welcome. Oh, it's so good to be here. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, totally. It's good um, to chat marketing and photography and business and, you know, with someone else who loves that stuff too. For sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's it's kind of, I don't know, you know, my day to day, I don't get to 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 talk on, on these sort of topics um, with other photographers. So it's nice whenever I hop on the, on the podcast, which is this, it's more business related than anything else. So it's, you know, it's definitely nice to every, every couple of weeks to be able to Get a nice chat in about these things. Yeah, geek out. <laughs> yeah. Find a yeah. fellow geek and sure. geek out for a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, so before we dive into what's going on in your world, let's talk a little bit about WordPress photography related news. Um, we have two things to share. The first is Next Gen Gallery 3.0, the back end redesign, uh, is coming out very soon. Uh, it was supposed to release before this episode was recorded. It'll probably be out. By the time this episode airs, uh, it's slated to go out next week as long as all things all goes well. And we're recording this on April 18th. So um, hopefully by the time this airs, it's actually out. But it's close to being done and it's uh, beautiful and it's going to be much easier for everybody to use. Um, and then the, sex, the, 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 the second thing I want to share is that um, I released a course myself called More Leads, More Clients. If you are looking to get more leads for your photography business, check out the new course. I will link to it in the show notes. And I just I hope you check it out. And maybe you'll learn something just from the landing page, or maybe you'll join and learn even more. So either way, if you want more leads for your photography business, check out my course, More Leads, More Clients. Um, so Julie, what's going on with you? I, I hear you got back from a holiday, also known in the United States as a vacation. <laughs> I did. I know this is the thing. We are, my uh, Half of my members are from the States and we have so much fun comparing the different words that you guys use for different things. <laughs> right, and sometimes, right. sometimes it gets, you know, almost rude. You know, some of you, the words that you guys use day to day, we yeah. would use to swear. I honestly, yeah. <laughs> right, but yeah, right. the holiday and the vacation thing is a funny one. Yeah. Holiday. I've been yeah. on vacation <laughs> yeah, and it was you, great. You know, it, it's funny though it, on that, on that topic is because, you know, wedding photographers, for example, that are, communicating in the same country that they live in to try to, you know, get their clients there have no language issues. But the moment they become a destination wedding photographer, it's a whole different ball game. That's <laughs> it. Know? Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. We have we have so much fun. But the last debate that we had was about Lego and Legos. You guys say Legos. You have a plural for Lego. And I swear this debate, this argument went on for days. <laughs> it was so funny. Well, wait, so you're saying so you're saying that when you have a box filled of multiple Lego blocks. Yes, it's, it's still Lego. Called Lego. It's Lego. <laughs> and, you know, we even went to the trouble of contacting Lego and asking the question. And, 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 it, and they agreed? Officially, it's Lego should never have an S on the end. Wow. Ever. That, okay, so <laughs> I've got to share that with everybody because that's yeah. pretty amazing. So that's it's good, Lego bricks, never Legos. <laughs> nice. That's, that's a... 
Well, you you heard it here. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Deep, That's meaningful awesome. chats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I I do. Uh, oh, my Lego camera is my daughter's playing with it upstairs. So. <laughs> oh, you have a Lego camera. That's so cool. I sure do. And I usually have a little Lego guy with holding a camera sitting on top of it that she oh. also tends to play with too. So, Fantastic. Um, I love Lego. Yeah. You are never too old for Lego. For sure. That I agree. <laughs> um, so so uh, you got back from a holiday. Um, what else is going on? So I, as you've already said, I have a, a membership site for photographers and we are at the moment we're working on funnels, which is, um, which nice. is my favorite thing. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we're creating online funnels together. And yeah, that's basically all my life is about at the moment is I I go to bed dreaming of funnels and I wake up thinking of funnels and I'm talking about funnels. So yeah, that's, that's basically what's going on right now. Well, that's good. Well, you got, you got, you got your funnel out here because at least this episode, we're not really talking funnel so much. No, we're not. Even though what we're talking about is part of a funnel. Yes, absolutely. Um, So we're, we're kind of talking funnels, but not in the direct sense. So um. (laughs) yeah, we're, we're talking, we're talking more about, um, flirting and nurturing yeah. and <laughs> yes yeah like, yeah pretty much pretty much <laughs> um okay so so let's talk about this right so yeah. the first thing you do when you get a new lead for your photography business what do you do immediately so- I have to start this by saying that I no longer do paid photography. So my Mm -hmm. main gig is the membership site. And this, what we're talking about today with video messages is not something that I have personally done with my photography business, only Mm -hmm. with my membership business. But we have members. So can can I give you a background story to this? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I joined... ConvertKit, which is an email marketing system right. um, like MailChimp or you know Active Campaign, I joined ConvertKit, and the day that I joined, in fact, literally three minutes after I joined, I get this video message from a guy Tyler saying, "Hey Julie," and he went to the trouble of checking out my website. He said, "I've just looked at your website. So delighted you've joined ConvertKit. I can see that you're going to be a great fit for us. I particularly love this blog post of yours. Um, if you have, I am your personal account manager. You know, if, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, I'm here five days a week. Blah blah blah." And I know, I mean, I know that he's sending them out to everyone, but I felt right. so. I thought that was so cool. I just thought that really differentiated them. And actually I was doing a free trial. So I, it cemented the deal without a doubt. (laughs) You know, I I thought I'm staying with these guys. I love these guys. I love that he personalized it with my name, but not only that, that he took the time to go and check out my website and find out a little bit about me. And it just made me think, why are, why would we not do this? Why would we not all do this? And this is particularly effective for photographers, for local businesses, this is so, this is even more effective for them. It takes it to a whole new level. And so I, we talked about it in the membership and lots of my members started to implement this and use video messages within their customer experience. So from the inquiry stage all the way through and that, that's how it, it was born for me, but I've since realized that so many different businesses are doing this and doing it really, really, really well. Yep. Yeah. You know, it's something that I've been pushing for us to add inside of Imagely. Um, the, the problem with that is it would either be me doing it, which I don't necessarily have the time to do that for every customer, or uh, it would be us literally hiring somebody just to do that because our support team doesn't have the time to do it for every customer. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is very important and it does convert. In fact, I do it in my own business um, for my, my own photography business. So uh, and it is so effective. Yes. It's just a, it's a video. It's a, there's nothing more engaging than seeing somebody. Absolutely. And, and that is and that is why we do the podcast and video, even though the audio just because of the nature of podcasts, audio does better, gets more subscribers. People don't want us to get rid of the video. 
Yeah, absolutely. And that's, this, that's why. People love a face. <laughs> they love a face yeah. to look at. Yeah. No matter what yeah. that face looks like, they love a face. And it's putting a yeah. face to the name, putting a face to the voice. And there's something about seeing someone and their mannerisms and all that stuff that helps you connect on a much deeper level than simply via email or even over the phone. It's just an, a new dimension, isn't it? Yep, for sure. Totally is. Um, so so we got the backstory, right? Um, now, you, you hypothetically, you have a photography website still, right? You still have a, your own photography business and you get a lead. Um, what do you do first? Do you reply with email or do you go right to a video? And what do you say? I would go straight. So let me give you an example. Um, one of our members, Ross, he's a wedding photographer. So he gets an inquiry and on his inquiry form, he asks for, you know, the details of the venue, the date, all that stuff, all that usual stuff. So he will get straight on to, he uses Bomb, Bomb um, which is a video messaging app, but it's definitely, I think, the most expensive one. You can use something like Bonjoro, which is has a free plan. It's much cheaper. He gets straight on to BombBomb Bomb and he records a message as soon as he possibly can, as soon as he physically can do so. And he'll name the cup, he'll name the bride and he'll say, you know, thank you so much for getting in touch. I'm so excited to hear that you're getting married in such and such castle. It's one of my favorites. In fact, I particularly love this spot that we, and at the time of year you're getting married, we can do this shot if the weather's good. And so he starts basically putting the bride in his story immediately. She can picture herself with him as her photography, as her photographer straight off the bat. He's allowing her to see him, to hear him, to get to know him. And he is, ex he's showing her that he cares enough to have gone and looked properly at her inquiry and personalize it properly. So he does all this in maybe 30 to 60 seconds, really short and sweet. And he includes a button to download his information, hmm. his ebook. So I, you could you could add all sorts of links in there, but I think I always think that the more links you add, the more things you ask them to do, the less likely they are to do any of them. Yep. So I would always recommend you just have one call to action and that be very much linked to your business and how you like to bring your leads in, I yep. suppose. Um, with Ross, the example I've just given, he likes to very much qualify his leads. So he likes them to read some information first and read about his pricing. Um, but I suppose you could take them straight to booking a consultation call with you. Right. That could be your call to action. But if you I, if you can imagine the, the difference, you know, if, these, if this bride has contacted five, six different photographers, um, she's probably only going to get one video message, which immediately means that you stand out, you're differentiating yourself and it's coming to her quickly. And if your call to action is to book a consultation call, she's highly likely just to book that consultation call there and then before she even gets a reply from those other photographers, you know? Yep. That's for sure. Um, you know, uh, Another tool that could be useful for this that is completely free, but they do have a paid upgrade, is Loom. Uh, it's Loom, not, yes. Yeah, so it's not designed like the other two software that you, um, like the, the two that you that you mentioned are actually designed for this exact thing. For right? this, yeah. Um, Loom is just a screen capture tool, but the nice thing is that you can do a quick screen capture of just your camera and send the link directly to whoever you want. So it's nice and quick. Absolutely. And, right. So, um, yeah, Loom is definitely the, the choice to get started with. Yeah. You know, probably if you want to yeah. do something free, um, I suppose the benefit of Bomb Bomb and Bonjoro is that you can do it on the move. So you can be on the train right. and you can get an inquiry and you can just flick out your phone and just do one right there and then, you know, nice yeah. and raw and on the spot. Yeah, I mean, you could also, if you if you want to go the you know a different route as well, is use other tools that are already accessible to you. Your your phone's camera, right? So you yeah. don't need a tool, right? Because nope. you have the tool, the perfect tool, right in your phone already. 
Um, you could do a Instagram story type thing and send a private message. You can do that in Snapchat if if your leads are there. You know, if you can find them, you want to go that route. Um, you could go the distance and you know further research and and go that route. Or you can do it a fun one in Instagram and Snapchat. Download it to your phone and send that. So you've got the fun animations and and, and yeah, you know all the AR think, stuff. I think that would be really cool. Actually, you, you shouldn't be stopped by. Having to have a dedicated app. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, So uh, here's the funny thing. I have done this for, not for leads. Now, I guess before before I get to that, what, what what your member is doing is exactly what all photographers should be are already doing or should already be doing via text in an email, right? All he's doing it is taking it from the email and putting it into a, a visual, right? So it's not doing anything yeah. different. It's just now you're getting on camera. Um, yes. So that's the that's really the big difference here, right? Um, yeah. Now, I don't do this for leads yet. I'm going to be starting to do this for leads. I do this for clients that have, you know, are people who have gone from a lead to an opportunity, and then they have booked me. I got the deposit, and now yeah. at that point, I'm now I'm on video with them. Uh, you know, not real time, but I'm on video with them, sending them messages. Um, and I usually a couple of days before the session, I will send a message. Now, I just did this for a cake smash session I did this weekend. I sent a message uh, holding a baseball bat, having a baseball hat because it was a baseball themed cake smash. And I said, hey, Sean, I'm, so, you know, obviously he he can't. He's only one, so he can't yeah. uh, see me. But, <laughs> you this. know, the parents enjoyed it. So I said, hey, Sean, I am so excited for a cake smash session. I got my bat and hat. I'm ready to go. And that's it. That's all it was. Right? I love that. Quick video. I love that. And and you know the, the the reply I got from the mom was that was amazing. You know I, I totally laughed. Thank you. I'm so excited. That's so cool. Right? That's so cool. Yeah. There's so, so. It, the, the options, the opportunities for video are endless. And like you yeah. say, you can do all of this with an email and with an image. You could send them a picture, but the impact it's so easy to consume. They can consume it on the go, and it's going to make them smile and get to know you more, more so than via text, you know, via the uh, copy in an email. And I love that. That would make you stand out a mile in my eyes. Yep. Yep. And now the, 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 the mother and and father now have the proofing gallery that they're choosing their images and I'm giving them a hard time because there's so many amazing ones for them to choose from. But I know that when it's all said and done, uh, They'll have images on their wall and their their friends will be coming over and seeing it and they will immediately say, go to this guy. He's local and he'll do a great job and he's, you know, he's funny and he's easy to work with and et cetera. Right? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Um, There's it's, it's great to also send them a little teaser when you have the, the images all edited and ready. Yeah. So you could be sitting by your computer with, um, you know, the final images fully processed in a little, you know, gallery. And you could then just jump on to, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's my throat going. <laughs> you could jump on, record a very quick message saying, I've just finished your gallery. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow to show you all your amazing images. And you could just give them like a tiny little sneak peek so they can't actually see them, but they can see the, you know, the the gallery tile effect. So you're yeah. just getting them excited about, but also you're reminding them about their, sales session at the same time mm-hmm. yep yep yeah it's uh it, it, there's, there's so many opportunities um so we talked about uh personalizing your communication through video for leads um i brought up a little bit about you know somebody who's already booked but um what do you recommend for people to for photographers to do when they have a client who's now booked um what type of video would you send um aside from my fun baseball one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if they've already booked, they've already paid for their session fee and they are ready to go. Yeah. Yep. I would pro I would to be honest, I would always keep these videos really short. Yep. And I would yep. send them alongside something I wanted them to read. So you know that we all have information that we want our clients to read, like advice about what to wear, um how the shoot how the experience goes so we're fully preparing them for what to expect and so often 
I know you'll be the same. You hear from photographers who say, you know, I send all this stuff out and no one reads it. I know they don't read it because then these questions come up. But they're so much more likely to read it if you send a video message with it. You know, if you're there saying, hey, Scott, really looking forward to our session together. I know it's boring, but I'm sending you this contract, you know, it's really important that you read it. You can add a bit of humor in here, you know, talk about why it's important, you know, keeps the experience great for you, great for me. Um, They are so much more likely to read that and sign it, actually read it and sign it because you have personally told them face to face to do it. You've asked them to do it. And the same goes for, you know, a what to expect brochure that you really want them to read through. You can say to them, look, all the questions, I know you guys are going to have so many questions. All of the questions and the answers are in there. So please have a good look through it and let me know if I can help you with anything at all. I know you mentioned on our phone call that you were wondering about what to wear. There's a what to wear guide in there, you know, just it's so much more, you're just guaranteeing so much more that your clients are going to understand the whole process from start to finish. And you're increasing those touch points, aren't you, with you. So instead of them meeting you once for the shoot and then once for the sales session, they feel like they've probably, they're probably going to feel like they've met you five times by the time the sales session comes along. And if you've done all the the pre-sales prep that I know you had Chris Scott on Mm -hmm. and he loves to talk about this, you know, the pre-sales touch points and preparing your clients for what they're going to buy. You could even send them a little video message in between the shoot and the sales session saying, oh my goodness, you know that we talked about you having this um, wall gallery and in your living room, I have the perfect shot for that. I've just edited it and it's amazing and I can't wait to show it to you so again you're just reinforcing what they're there for yep and what you're creating together yeah and you know I think a a key point here to make is that you're not creating anything new you're not you know like create coming up with scripts and stuff that are brand new you're basically using things that you're already doing in your business so hopefully you've got some sort of lead magnet that's a attracting people's attention. This is stuff I talk about in my course. And and hopefully you're creating these and then you can just take stuff from that to give to people via the videos or exactly. you know re- again reminding them to 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 look at that PDF that you that you gave them, you know. Exactly. So you're you're not creating like tons of work for yourself to come up with all this new stuff. You're just using what you already have in a different way. It's That's it. um it's um what do they call that? And I forgot what they call it. And it's not evergreen, but they call it something about like the sort of repurposing. Refreshing. Yeah, repurposing, repurposing that's the word your like, content. I yeah, I, um, I know that's so. so annoying when that happens. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it's, it's, just, it's just a brilliant concept. And, you know, it doesn't take, really, it doesn't take any more time. I think especially if you just go for it and use one of the apps like Bonjoro, which does definitely right. have a free plan, I'm sure. Um, if you go for one of the apps, then literally this is going to take you two minutes out of your yeah. day to do this. So yes, you have already edited the images. It's only going to take you an extra two minutes to just record that little video and send it. And you yeah. can have the templates all made up and ready with your calls to action. So all you have to then do is go in and person. You don't even need to personalize it because you're you're speaking, yeah, you're yeah. and it's meant to be raw. It's not meant to be polished and beautiful looking. It's meant to be raw. Right. The one I got from ConvertKit, and I've had a couple since. The one I got from ConvertKit was, you know, handheld and it was shaky and the sound wasn't amazing. But actually, it didn't matter. It wasn't meant. It wasn't that kind of video. Yeah. It was just you know, and, on the hoof. Um, when 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 looking at what tools to use for this, I think an important thing to consider is one that offers tracking. So I'm sure that the ones that are the paid ones, I'm sure they offer tracking, so you can see, okay, you know, the person you sent it to has looked at it, right? Yeah. Once, twice, whatever. Um, if you just do a, a video message from your phone, you'll get a, a red receipt, but it's not really meaning you know they looked at the video. That's if you right. do it in Loom or 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 uh, Bonjour or if you do. Uh, um, uh, an Instagram me- private message, 
those are all going to say these were looked at, right? Yes, absolutely. So, absolutely. Um, I think that's important because you want to know one if if it's working, right? If people are actually engaging because if they're not if it's not working for your clients, either you've got the wrong clients or you're they just don't care in your area and maybe you shouldn't take the time to do it. But Yeah, that's true. Um, and you, I suppose it's part you of the also whole have to thing. You also have to probably look at where it's going, where it's landing because these apps they're all sent via email. So are they landing in people's junk folders or promotion folders? And I know that in right. our experience so far, a lot of the the app emails, the video messages are going to people's promotions folder, maybe not mm-hmm. junk, but they're going to promotions and sometimes they're not getting seen. So what you can do is you can also just send up, um, especially if it's a client, you could also send a text saying, hey, I've just right. sent you a video message, you know, just to, Hope just to double up, make sure they get it. Yeah. Or maybe it's even send the actual message through text. So, you know, you send the email, right? You send the email without the video link, and then you send the link via a text message so that it gets to their phone with the video. And in the yeah. video, you say, hey, I just sent an email about this and et cetera, et cetera, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, they're, so certainly, way- meant, they're certainly more likely to get it via text. Yeah, for sure. I think with the, I suppose with the inquiries, and I, I, I think that's where it's going to, this it's it's a double whammy, isn't it? The, the nurturing of clients and the nurturing of leads. So I think with the inquiries that come in, the leads that come in, that's potentially where you're going to make more money from video messages, because I think without without a doubt you convert more client you convert more leads and, and inquiries yeah. with video yeah. than you do with just replying via email so i think the power is the most powerful element of this is with inquiries and that's probably where it's most likely to go to promotion folders so i think it's it's important to test these apps and and find yeah. out where this email is landing because what you don't want is to be sending video messages that no one ever gets to read like you say so the tracking is vital without a doubt yeah yeah uh and i know that as far as like as uh, at least for loom they partnered with google so when you send a loom link it doesn't go into promotions and it actually gets embedded as if it's like a google doc type of yeah um, file so it actually looks like it's part of google Um, i don't know how they managed to pull that off but it's it's seamless yeah loom um, is loom is very very cool i mean if you're sitting at your desk then loom is the is the ideal tool without a doubt yeah yep totally um so Let's say you you booked the client, uh, you started with the lead, you got them with video, you did a little bit of video with the booked client, you finished the, sh- the session, you now do a little, we talked about some some teasers, right? So you send out the teaser about the the, the, the sales session and, uh, and, and the gallery and, and so on. Let's say everything's done, right? Do you continue the video content beyond delivery of product oh most definitely i i think that um i've always been really fussy about who i continue with i i continue to nurture clients that i love that i loved to work with so i don't think i would do it with everyone but yeah i mean if you're working with um if you do a newborn shoot then why would you not follow up on you know just before the first birthday saying i'm just thinking right. about you guys and i know yep. it's Josh's first birthday coming up and I just wanted to say happy birthday and you don't even need to be salesy and offer anything I mean you can if you want but really you're just staying top of mind and being nice I think that's the the best thing you can do with these (laughs) is to be helpful and kind and nice and not overly salesy I know I was just thinking as you're saying that I'm like you know what The, the perfect thing for newborn photographers to do is in these videos is to make sure you position yourself so there's a cake smash photo behind you. Yeah. So you're doing this sort of subtle, you know, hey, it's a year. Look behind me. I love <laughs> you it. Know? You're so sneaky. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're doing this subliminal thing, but you're not actually yes. saying, hey, hire me for your cake smash session. Exactly, you know? so, exactly. I think it's yeah. important actually to talk about that, that you could overdo this. 
yeah. it would be so easy to overdo it. I think if I was a client and a photographer had already sent me five video messages before my shoot, I would start getting scared. You know, yeah, so you got you to keep it to a minimum. You've got to, you've, you've got to be careful. <laughs> and I suppose some people wouldn't like it. You know, you've got to, it's a, it all comes back to finding the right fit, the good fit clients, yeah. doesn't it? And the, the, if you enjoy making them and word gets out that this is what you do, then you're going to attract clients who love that sort of stuff. They're going yeah, to love yeah. it. My, my friend, yeah, it, he, um, he bought a new car from Audi and he got this video message via Facebook. And what they did was they took him on a virtual tour of his new car. It was sitting, it had just been delivered. And they took him on this virtual tour of his new car and they tagged him in the post. And he was furious. He was so angry that he didn't want this all out there for the public to see. So I suppose that was public, but I don't even think he would have appreciated it sent to his phone there's some people are funny aren't they they're yeah. quite private that's that's my new car yeah. you've spoiled my surprise and you've got to suss out you've got to suss out your clients I think and I think that's yeah, why it's so yeah. important you do speak to them on the phone and get a sense of who they are before you do things like this yeah you definitely have to get a sense uh, for their um their humor their personalities um and I think it also depends on the genre of photography, right? So it may not work as well in commercial photography. Um, it probably would work the best in wedding photography. And in fact, it might even be wedding photography who wants more of it, right? Yes. Because they're all about, it's them. Everything's about them for the next year while they plan their wedding. So yes, the absolutely. more you can give them, the better, right? So, uh, but again, tracking and testing. So you might think a wedding wedding couple might want you know five video messages 10 video messages whatever it is it might be too many you got to see yeah. what what they're opening you know after three are they stopped do they stop opening yeah right? absolutely so I, I i think you're right i think there's a lot more mileage for wedding photographers you know if you if you think about how well you can get to know your bride and your groom before mm -hmm. the wedding and you find out an awful lot about their wedding in advance and you could be you know at a wedding fair and you might see something and think do you know i know that bride of mine that i know she would love this i'm going to send her a video message and and show it to her and you you get that kind of relationship don't you because it's such a long term booking so I think yeah. yeah I think wedding photographers would get probably the most mileage out of this for sure yeah you know like like I uh normally I do I do headshots family photos cake smashes stuff like that and I was recently asked to do some product photos for a company that's in in town and I met with them and and I, I I decided to do a test so I'm just doing a test that I'm still getting paid for which is great to see if we're a good fit right and I would have never done a video message for this type of business. Yeah. Cause, cause it just, it just doesn't make sense. It's, it, you gotta be, um, there's no humor in the, in this specific yeah. commercial job. There's no humor. So, um, it's just gotta be straight, straight to business and that's it. So yeah, um, you have to know your you gotta, audience. You gotta know the limits. Yeah. yeah. Know your audience yeah. without a doubt. But then I suppose it, Again, it just comes back to if we're doing a good job on our website and with our marketing, we're attracting those people who like us. And yeah. if they like us and we're into that, the chances are very high that they're into that too. I mean, I love it. I love For getting sure. messages like that. It makes such a difference to me when a business has taken the time to get to know me even just on a very surface level and so I'm not just a name or a number to them they've actually I do feel like they care and I know and I'm a business person myself I know it's a marketing strategy almost but it's relationship marketing which is what it's I think what it's all about in 2018 when we're all becoming a bit jaded aren't we and it's it's the businesses that become more human who seem to be making it work and have longevity yeah i mean look at convertkit there's a reason why convertkit has really put a dent in mailchimp's business with the three years they've been in business yeah right or what however long they've only they've it's been a short time and they're really converting uh competing with 
a company like MailChimp that's been around for over 10 years doing this, right? Yeah. And and it's because of how personal they are making. Their service isn't really that different than MailChimp. In fact, the pricing is is like equal. Yeah, when you so, go for the pro, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So so they're not doing much different than MailChimp other than personalizing yeah. everything. Yeah. Right. So um this has been a great conversation. I, I love this topic so much. Uh I'm a big fan of video. So uh it's this is like it's like right up my alley. Um in, in it's time to move into a, a section of the of the show where we you have the opportunity to ask a question to those listening. So when you're ready, fire away. Um okay. My question, let's go for video, but since that's what we've been talking about. And like you, Scott, I'm a massive fan of video. I'm a massive fan of live video. I think that in 2018, we have to embrace video and we have to even embrace live video if we want to stand out, differentiate ourselves from the competition. So my question would be, what is holding photographers back from putting themselves out there on video. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to the answer because, uh, well, I, I know what a lot of the answers are going to be, but yeah, me uh, too. <laughs> but 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 it, it, this should be uh, this should be great. Um, okay, cool. So if you want to answer this question, please go to the show notes of this episode. Go to the YouTube video. Um, you'll uh, you'll get the link to the show notes in a minute. Um, and 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 just comment with your answer to that question. Uh, and I will be sure that uh, to send all those answers to Julie so that she has them all. Um, and, and we'll, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be a good conversation. Maybe she'll, she'll even come in and reply if Absolutely. she has time. Absolutely. We'll I, I 100% um, <laughs> will. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Julie, for joining us today. I'm so glad you were able to join that we were able to get a time that worked. Oh, it's um, been great. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks. Um, you can find the show notes from today's episode, everything we talked about, the different services we talked about. Um, I'm even going to try to find an article on Lego versus Legos. Yes. And, <laughs> and you'll be able to find links to all this and where to find Julie at imagely.com slash podcast slash 50. Until next time. You've been listening to the WordPress Photography Podcast. To listen to other episodes and to subscribe to the podcast via iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and more, please visit imagely.com forward slash podcast.